Will China be looking at what is unfolding as essentially a military shambles? Well, certainly it is. And I think China will be taking lessons from it, uh, possibly with a view to its own um, potential invasion of Taiwan, which incidentally I don't think will happen um, in, in, in the next decade. But of course, you must keep up the, um, the, the, the threat towards Taiwan. So they'll certainly be taking those lessons in. And um, I mean, it has been a shambles. And whether the Chinese expected it to be a shambles or whether indeed they were warned about it in the first place uh, is, is difficult to say. I mean, either they weren't warned, in which case you have to think that this uh, professions of great friendship, depth of friendship and no limits to cooperation, yeah. etc., uh, is, is a load of baloney. Well, because it is suggested, is it not, that Putin said to uh, President Xi, we're going to do this, but we won't do it until your cherished Winter Olympics are over. It is suggested and we don't know. Yeah. I mean, either he didn't. He didn't warn him, in which case I think we can conclude that the, the depth of friendship, which anyway is not, not that great, um, it's marri marriage of convenience, but it is, it's pretty shallow. Yeah. Or if he did warn him, uh, first of all, I don't think that uh, if, if Xi Jinping tried to persuade him not to, uh, it didn't work. And again, that shows the shallowness of, of the relationship. Or if he was unwilling and didn't want to, 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 to persuade him, and then I think that blows out of the water China's professions of um, non-interference, um, of being a responsible power, etc. As I tried to make crystal clear with, with, with China at the pounding heart of it all, the stakes literally could not be higher. You've got Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, saying the West is attempting to redefine the future Europe. NATO and Biden are behaving no better than Hitler or Napoleon. And on the other hand, Zelensky saying after Ukraine, if we don't exist, God forbid, then it'll be Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Moldova, Georgia, Poland. They'll keep going until the Berlin Wall. What's at stake here is not street fighting just in Ukraine. It's the future of Europe, the future of the world. Well, and it, and it could be at, at very short notice if, you, if, if the nuclear threat was ever uh, came came to pass. So, but in the, in the longer term, you know, is is Moscow trying to move across in, and re-establish the way that it was what was in, during the Cold War? Well, whatever his intentions at the start, those will have to change because of the way that that it's bogged down. But did he intend that at the start? I, I think it's anyone's guess. M my view is that yes, he probably did intend to make sure that Moldova and, and possibly even the Baltics, uh, although they, we'd have the NATO question there, which we, we can come to, um, came back into his, into his sphere. But since what's happened in Ukraine, and it hasn't been the pushover that, that, that he expected, he may well have had to, will have had to, I think, to, to readjust his, his, his views. And so what happens after this is all in the future because he's bitten off an awful lot to digest and it's not looking very digestible.